Hi everyone, now we are going to see how to model and assemble metal joint. So, first I am creating the worksheet with the name of metal joint. After creation of sheet, we will go into the past studio. Meanwhile, I like to share this metal joint here. The metal joint part modeling, part drawings, and the assembly drawings are here. So first I am going to top view and sketch. First I like to draw a circle for a metal joint to concentrate the circle. So I am going to draw here. The diameter of the circle inside and outside is here. Inside is diameter 24 and outside is radius 24 which is given in the diameter form itself. So I am going to modify the diameter as accordingly. So inside the inside diameter is 24 and the outside is at the diameter is 24, so 24 into 2 I am going to here. Now I am going to draw a horizontal line, the line that starts from the exact center of the circle to the end of the extreme of the right side. So I am just drawing a straight line horizontally and I am going to change the dimension to so 104, which is given in the part on the diagram itself. Now, I am going to create the offset for the 28 square. So I am going to go here 28 over 2 upward here. And again I am going to choose, choose offset 28 over 2. So now we have the square and so I am going to join the end also. Now here I'm going to remove the excess line which is the trim command. The circle also removing. Now we have the fillet of uh, the circle and the rest uh, cube moving area. So the radius is uh, 32 that is given in the diagram uh, here. So this I again I will be a fillet here also. It will repeat the same one. So I am going to finish this. And the center line is not required now. So I will remove the strand also. Now I am going to use the extrude command for extrude the front view. So to height I am going to use 18 plus 28 plus 18, which is given in the front, top front view itself. So I am going to select symmetric axis here and the 28 plus 18 plus 18 plus 28 plus 18. I am going here. See, it's just going over here. So, I'm going to give it this will be my face like this. Now, I am going to move the portion that which I have required in the front user. So, I am going to search on front view and I am going to make this uh, new type of cut here first. So, from the center point to the end, I am going to draw it up and then I am going to choose uh, 104. Sorry, the DM on the initially. I will remind the art of the diameter compute. The diameter compute is going to extreme end. So, the diameter is 28 and here. 28 diameter and here. After that, I am going to draw a horizontal line to make the 28 mm up and down line. So, I just draw, I am going to Try a two hertz and length here. So in the exact center point, I'm drawing a vertical line and offset it for a 24 mm. And then I'm going to make a two main lines here. See. And extend using extended command, I'm going to extend the center line till the end. Right, till the right extreme end, I have extended the same line. Now I am going to offset that line to 28 uh, intersection. So, oh, yeah, the direction is 13 offset, and the 28 is about 2 I am giving here. Again, I am going to offset it in the opposite direction. So, 28 is about 2. Okay. You can use another command also for this. I am just using the Offset command 
I'm actually not going to the event to us down till down. Now I'm going to use the tree command to remove the unwanted portion here. So I'm going to use a tree, the same set of tree, I'm going to remove here. Now we have the inner cut portion we have right now. I'm going to draw outer cut portion. So I'm just going to the set tree. The diameter is uh, radius is uh, 32, so I'm going to give the diameter is uh, 32 into 2. So, certainly we get the like this. Then I'm going to draw a staircase in here. So, I have to offset here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to offset the center line for the distance of 28 divided by 2 plus uh, 18. So that I am going to take your root 2 plus 18. So we have x to 1 because of your mind. Right? Same thing, you might remove the traditional line also. And then I am going to remove both the x to 1 and then the to 1 on outside here. Now I am going to draw a straight line vertical down the line. And then I am going to change the dimension of the line to the 18 plus 28 plus 18. So this is the entire length of the line of the function by itself. Sorry. I have to make some reference with the margin general which will be proper term. So for that I was making the dimension here. I am going to mirror here using the clear of the line. I can extend that line. This is using the general dimensions. So, I am removing the additional unwanted subtle portion. Since subtle portion is the extreme right side end of the bigger subtle. So, this is a little bit of a one. And this line length is here. And as soon as I to come to here, we need to draw the same length is here. And not so many stacky. So, Just I'm going to here and there are not four lines that you need here. So I so very hope to fix the connection with some uh, front energy. So for that I was making the branch and we I want to be sure here. So I have to make sure the link with RG. So I have to delete the center line with the here. Then the letter sent the margin field is possible. So I did it this long and then I'm just making the receipt from the to here. But I'm going to take it in the time already fixing the top. Now we can change the dimension, it will be the input of sketching on the object. 104 minus 30. So we have the text in here. And now we have to offset this that uh, 28 divided by 2. That is a room in the diagram set. Again, I'm going to set the direction also. Check the direction and the template delivery tool. So now we have the bottom edge also. And I'm going to remove the excess line that we have here. And the sensor to portion also I'm going to remove here. The portion that we have here now that I remove here also. This portion, this portion will not need those so that I want to remove the transfer. And sometimes I will remove it. And I am going to connect the extreme ends using the steel plane here. In the ends I am going to remove here. Those are not required actually for this. So now we have the center portion diagram here exactly. I am going to create it more. And I am going to select the extrude remove. Sorry, actually, we have to move this at intersect on the through wall. Select the sketch. And then I have to select intersect. Intersect option. The portion of the is selecting the from the left. And we are removed actually. So now we have the that uh, four in the wall. Now we have to draw a Maximum uh, head at uh, left side, left, uh, left end actually. 
So that I'm going to select the left hand face of the cube and uh, I'm going to draw a center cube of the dimension of that uh, 20 plus 28 square. And then selecting the polygon and the draw it like this. And then selecting the orthogonal face slowly. What I did actually was I like, can turn in the reverse changing the and then we are changing the thing into it and it shape, pencil shape after we deform as like this then I'm going to use the this is like use the tool remove command option with the all the remove and the amount of the surfaces I'm going to use it remove option after remove it should look like this so we have no X orthogonal bold ready here at the fork end itself. Now I am going to use the fillet option of the, the diameter of IMO, all the bottom end, all the corners of the flexible fold, all those options, and let's make more fillet like this. So now the fillet is over. After clicking on it, you will see the fillet effects as like a diagram that you can see here. Now I'm going to move the symmetric here now. Then I'm going to mark here. I'm going to do a chamfer at the right end. So I'm inserting the fill tool in the sketch and draw a stand line with a distance of 104 here. So after drawing this one up for the line, I'm going to draw a vertical line with the diagonal of 40 mm, that is 28 over 2. Then I'm going to 28 over 2, then I'm going to draw a triangle of uh, equal to triangle of uh, 5 mm, 5 mm at the uh, extreme end of that line, uh, uh, like this. So, a little particular triangle is the final one. Then I'm going to do the final one here. Then I'm going to click here and I'm going to use the reward option and the renew and the select the surface and the select the axis here. The moment I'm starting with the chamfer is used and I'm going to like this. So now we have the chamfer and the flexion bolt head and the slide the diagram. So we are going to give a little property in our properties here now. This is where it's used that they are showing the dimension and the model is as preferred in the same. So now I'm going to assign the properties here. So properties. So naming the two four thing here and then I'm going to properties here. Fourth end, and then the part name was a fourth end. Fourth, and then I type it in here, and then I'm going to do the part number three space zero zero one, and then I'm saying here, save, then I'm going to assign the material, so. When you go for the part here, when you go to the part here, we have in the four steel was given that we will update itself in the part diagram. But I am selecting the hardened hardened steel. Then I am going to do the color appearance like this. Back in the and turn in a different color, but I must find the better color of the right top of the right one. So, I'm going to put in the top of the right one. So, I select in this color. Now, we are going to see all the view. Now, I am going to draw the shaft in the, the, the base left side window. So, I'm selecting the left side view. And I'm going to draw a circle with the diameter is to the one shaft. So to here I'm here. After the I'm going to add here 
and then we are going to go take more from the extruding extruding to the dimension diamond and we have the height of 25 mm so I am going to set the first and then I am just going to take the left part I will get the 25 mm that 4 can be more than that so now the 4 can be completed completely so we need this origin I am going to move now so as I am taking you see the and taking this one and here as I can do that by end of the ones here which and everything I was in show that so now we are going to model for the comments here which and everything is at the correct side so I am going to set the symmetry here and I am just open the other dimension and I am going to create a next part for end I end so I am going to add a part studio here and then I am going to move it as a sorry and then I move it I end and then I am going to set the part here the part here and the part in the sketch and then I am going to try a tool for clear so that the diameter and radius is 24 and the diameter 24 and radius 24 and the this is what I will give you here the diameter is 24 here and the second second radius is 24 and 22 ok, that will be the given here so now I am going to draw a straight horizontal right side line ok, I am going to use the image 36 here so I am going to offset that line by 28 cube so for the moment I put my image side I am going to offset so first I am going to offset here 28 divided by 2 so I am going to offset a line put in the direction 28 divided by 2 so I am joining here and sticking into here like this and then I am going to remove the amount of lines here by using the trim command so this is the same as the same as the same as the same Vector that set to is not required. Now I'm going to use the select command as earlier. The diameter is 32, but we are going to give it here. It's going to be in the flow, so I was using the same diameter to fill it also. And then I'm going to fill it here with its own dimension. So diameter is 32, already is 32, but the flow then is going to say it only. Now I'm going to complete this flow, extrude, and I'm going to extrude this one for the length of 28 of 28 times. So, I am going to do a tick mark here and then X2 and then I am going to select this object and select it, complete and then I am going to go over and click on it and then I am going to make a vaccine or a terminal bulk here and like a Important. The same thing I will repeat here also. And draw uh, 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 a cube with center cube. And now I am going to draw a automatic head here. And then I am going to use the extrude remove option. Extrude remove and this here. After I extrude remove, and then I am selecting which is all in the and I have a portion of one room, the 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 then I am going to do a fillet at the end of the thing so I will select the front now and the sketch I am selecting 
there I'm going to draw a straight line here from the front to another point to extend it so the length of the line is my interface point here so I'm going to draw an interface line here like previous the same thing as I'm repeating here on the line I'm going to draw setting on the same vertical line so I'm going to draw a straight line here so for the line I select here here and then I'm going to draw it on the equator with a little triangle here Yes, like this. Then it is five and five and one. So I am drawing again five and here and five and here also. After the completion of five and one, then after the completion of five and one, I was tick mark and then I am going to use remove all, remove option, select the sketch and select the axis here. After that, the remove the letter B after that's like this. So now we have, sorry, I have some new type in surface here. I have to rotate on the selector surface. Instead of like the surface, I have to select the solid here. No, it's not here. No? Okay. So, this is the idea of how we are having like this. And the I'm going to draw the shaft here at the right end. So I install the plane sketch. I'm drawing the circle here. The diameter of the circle is uh, 25mm. So the diameter of 25mm I'm drawing here. After that, I'm, I'm going to extend the right circle about the height of 25mm. So this is uh, I end out. We have four end and I end here. So I'm going to assign the material properties here. So I'm going to go to the properties and uh, write down the name for I end here. And then I'm going to assign the part number 3002 and save. After that, I'm going to assign the material here. I'm going to assign the material same as the uh, fourth end. Here also I is giving carbon steel. And then carbon steel and something here. And then I'm going to give the appearance also same, uh, same as the uh, fourth end. Same the bright local I'm giving here also. After that, I just Integrate mm -hmm. the uh, isometric view and then with the front view and different views. I was just checking or checking the design and then I am going to draw the third part thing. So now I am going to create another part studio here. Now we have to, I am giving this part to be an M2 thing. And then I'm selecting thin plane for a draw the thing because I'm going to use the revolve option here. So I'm going to try a vertical line first. The line length is uh, 80 plus uh, 12. So I'm going to draw the third line this dimension 90 plus 12. And then I'm going to bring the in fully visible and then I'm going to offset it with the diameter by the end. Right, if I'm going to offset that same way. So, offset and then diameter 38 divided by 2. So, it is going to be made now. Then I'm going to draw a horizontal line at the top end. And then again, I'm going to select the offset and the offset the line into 12 mm. That is a pin head thickness actually. And then I am going to remove the unwanted line using the trim option. This excess line I am going to remove here. This line is not required. So I am using trim command. Remove the excess line right here. And then I am going to again offset the center line for diameter 24. So diameter 24 divided by 2 I am going here. So we have the line. And then I am going to remove the unwanted line using the trim option. 
and then we are going to draw a straight line at the bottom end to complete this portion. Now I am going to revolve, uh, use the revolve option here or get the bone printed. We need that picture. After that, selection of time, C separation, we get the pin. So now we have a pin and actually here I am going to I'm going to form a hole at the bottom and the bottom to convenient actually that we are going to insert the tamper pin. So first I draw a vertical line from the origin and then I am going to give the dimension 5 is 10 mm. And I am going to draw a circle of 6 mm here for making the tamper pin hole. So change this dimension to 6 mm here. After that, I am going to use the after that I am going to remove this I am going to use the extrude option to remove extrude remove symmetric and the true one and then selecting the steps then I am going to give a tick mark here. Now you are going to see the hole at the bottom of the pin. So now all the sharp edges I am going to remove using the fillet option. I am going to then change the radius is so 2 mm here. Just remove the sharp edges so 2 mm is sufficient. And then the bottom edges I am selecting here. This is the sign of all the sharp edges I was selecting here. Now I feel this bottom edge on the gold with bottom edge is not required. So I can fill it. So I am editing with fill it. And remove the bold head bottom itself for uh, the textual things. So I was selecting and removing the fill out and then you will take more finishing the fill out things. So the bold bottom head is not filleted here. Only the sharp edges are filleted here. Now we are going to assign the properties and material properties here. So I was seeing that it also might seem that so I'm going to rename it properties. I'm going to give the name pin and then I'm going to give the part number of the space 003 save and then I'm going to assign material and then still Assembly material here, my steel is given. So, I am selecting carbon steel here. My steel is not available, so I am selecting carbon steel here. So, carbon steel I am selecting here. And then I am going to give the visual appearance of our carbon in dark black color. And this is dark beige color, and this dark gray color is something here. And then, and yeah, so this is a print head we have right now. Now I am going to create a new part studio. Here we are going to color. We are going to model the color right now. For modeling color, I am going to create this one, and then I am going to name here the part studio to color C O double M A R. And then I am going to set the top view, and then sketch. So here we have two parts of the circle. The diameter of the second diameter of the diameter is uh, such as uh, 24 and uh, 40, 38. So, this is a circle that we are having. Then I am going to extrude this circle symmetric. The length is height is 12 mm. So, I have sketch and the problem I the height 
Ah, si no que tiene que hacer un desinvertido. Ven. Esto aquí. No voy a ningún tubo. Traer el hold. So, I said, I'm going to get a strength in me. Or sketch. The margin point exactly matches the center hold. So, I'm just going to try a hold around. So, I'm going to set it under 6 and I'm going to set it under here. I'm going to get a stick in there. I'm going to use the remove. Extrude remove option. Extrude remove. Symmetric to all. And then I'm going to select the sketch. And then I'm going to go to mark. Now we here hold two holes on the color. Now I'm going to fill it of red stream for all the sharp edges here for the color. What image I'm selecting here. And then I'm going to get it from here. So the color will be even sharper than that we have right here. Now I am going to assign the properties here. So first I am going to property. Part name is color. And then part number 0, 3, 0, 0, 4. And I am going to open the IC, so I am going to choose the carbon steel, like previous screen. So I am selecting the carbon steel here. Click mark. Then I am going to assign the appearance. I select the rules. I am going to go there. Look at the profile. And then I just wait for the cover of the same, yeah, I still need it. Now, I'm going to press on the trick here. Now, only one part is remaining, that is the uh, tap button. So, we are going to model right now. So, I select the tap button, part studio. Rename the part studio into tap button. Tap button and tap in here. After that, I'm going to select the front view. So I'll draw a type of thing. So sketch. And I'm going to draw a vertical line from the housing for 44 mm height. So the height is 44 mm. And then I'm going to draw a, the tapper pin is so diameter is 5 mm. So I was drawing 2.5 mm percent around here. The line is 2.5 mm here and then in the bottom it is a tap so I was drawing a 2 mm line here and then I am going to join this two end actually using the start line option then I am going to evolve it using the evolve command so I select the evolve option select the surface and decide the real axis with the curve. Then I'm going to do a tick mark. Now I'm going to fillet this thing to fillet the top and bottom surface of the pin actually using the red screen now. Now the fillet is over. After the fillet, I'm going to find the properties color. Color. So color take it nice So I'm going to remove properties. Part name I'm going to do the tap button. And then part number 3 space 0, zero 5. And the same. So, and then I'm going to assign the material property as like here, layer to spin and the color. I'm going to assign here also carbon steel. And the same visual appearance also I'm going to do here as like a tap color in the pen. I'm going to use the display color for here also. And then I'm going to assemble here. So first I'm going to do an assembly, not pinch and assembly to not pinch and After I'm going to click on the insert and the 
first I am going to insert the fork and and then fix it then I generate the keyboard and I am going to take the uh, I end and pin all components here pin and then color and then character pin all components I am going to take the inside now I am going to use the Single to moment, and I was looking for both the uh, circular places here, and then I was checking everything is working properly. It's not working actually, so I'm going to use the double actually I'm going to use double loop. So I was only for the single to clear, so that it was not properly assigned. So I was going to do. Slider and I was searching for slider where it is how it is moving. That's what you are just doing is showing here. And then planar motion. And then the planar motion it will be like this. So I have to select the revolute actually here. So I was using the revolute and then I was showing here now. See, the revolute is up exactly. The portion is up to try to create a more far full circle so I am going to give a limit here so I have some the limit and setting it will be rotated like that so see we have some matches I have given where is this one down actually one 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 and the maximum should be one the maximum should be one 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 and the maximum should be one 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 so I was setting it and to end it zero so 90 and 0, it has to be like this. So I have to add the angle slightly. So it was completely rotating here. 90 and 90 degree, it was rotating properly like this. So I was using 90 degree. I don't know what the rotation is properly rotating or not for how properly it is. Plus, I am using 90 and here, my minus 90 is now I will find so it's not like this in the end, I am using my contract in the end but I am going to see this, so I will just have a perfect look at it here, so I am going to leave a tick here so I am going to use the fork and then the I am this one now. Now I am going to insert the the color is in slider. So as I do that, I need to do package. Then I am going to verify the slider package and then the so I have to choose again. I am going to go next. So I can see how I do it. Bar package. The color is in slider here. Yes, this time we can see it here. And then tap on the object that's working. I'll see it here. Now, it should be more quickly matching. Then it's working. And that's the way it goes in it. It has gone fully down there. It should be not. It should not go like this. I will have to adjust more in the length of minus 15. And it's again on this game. So, it has so you can see like this and you can see like that and you can show it properly so you can see it properly so I'm going to do it and then I'll just do it I'll just do it this so it's going to be properly and then I'm going to do this one over now I am going to assign the color of the bottom end so I am selecting the bottom edge for previous and then top edge of the color here and then I am checking I am just coming from the layer and then I am going to select here it also in the only like previous point so I am just going to change the things 
20, on va faire tout. On va essayer de faire des jours, je vais faire des jours. Si me ayudan, entonces se me va a dar un desafío para darlo, es muy bien, se va a dar un desafío para darlo, 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 color actually to this of uh, doing the thing so I'm going to use the same decal notes here and selecting the top looking surface and then the uh, color whole surface exactly center point so I'm going to select it to become like this by doing simulate and uh, understand how the top of the movie by the phone so it's very correctly and Often properly. So I'm going to tick mark and then I'm going to press the thing also and then I'm going to show the hidden thing also. Now this is the local zone that we are looking for or something. Thank you, friends.